Welcome to PC Dance Instructional Videos. Today what we're going to be talking about is briefly describing the difference between the protein that you get from meat and the protein you get from a whey protein source, such as your protein powders. Protein. Protein just isn't protein. Protein is a group name of all different types of amino acids. Some amino acids are responsible for the growth of hair, skin and nails. Some are responsible for hormone production. Some, we don't even know what they are or what, they, what they're used for because we put them into the body and we don't have the technology to trace it. So some amino acids go into the body and we're not exactly 100% sure exactly what they're used for. Some amino acids, however, are responsible for muscle growth and recovery. If you eat a chicken or fish or eggs or dairy, basically what happens is you get all the amino acids required in order to stay healthy. And therefore it is very, very important. However, straight after your workout, or one, one hour pre-workout, you need to get a type of amino acid into your body that's specifically responsible for recovery and repairing your broken down muscle tissue in that workout. These protein companies that make whey protein are aware that whey protein that's derived from dairy and cow's milk is extremely high in the specific amino acids responsible for muscle growth. So even though it's important to eat natural, healthy, organic foods and get all the amino acids, it is a very good idea to have your whey protein uh, ASAP after training, uh, probably an hour pre-training because it takes about an hour for those amino acids in your protein to peak in your bloodstream, uh, and ASAP first thing in the morning when you wake up because your body's been catabolic for the last couple hours sleeping. So they're the three main times you want to have it. So I guess you can't really compare your whey protein to food. 25 grams from a whey protein source will do much more for your recovery than having 25 grams of uh, food. So when people say, oh, I don't need a whey protein source, all I do is eat healthy and get as much protein as I can for my food, you're making a very, very, very big mistake. The amino, acid respo amino acids responsible for muscle growth, there are about six to eight of them. However, out of those amino acids, uh, such as the branch chain amino acids, there is one amino acid that's specifically responsible for muscle growth. And that's leucine. Leucine is very, very important. So if you can take leucine by itself in a pure form, it would be a really good idea to add some leucine to your protein. Uh, you can buy it as a whole uh, pro as a powder source directly on its own in its raw state. Um, or another good idea would be to have your leucine, um, get your protein shake, half a glass of water, half a glass of some sort of juice like apple juice, pineapple or orange juice and um, one scoop or one tablespoon of leucine in that and drink it during training, during your workout. So here's a quick sum summary rundown. 25 grams of protein from food, you're going to get all the amino acids. 25 grams of uh, protein from your protein source, such as whey protein, you're going to get a high content of the amino acids specifically for uh, muscle repair. So having it first thing in the morning, an hour pre-training and ASAP after training is absolutely vital. Out of all the amino acids responsible for muscle growth, there's about six or eight of them, the main one is leucine. So if you can get leucine uh, on its own, then you are one step, big one step ahead of uh, everybody else when it comes to recovery and great nutrition.